What's going on? What's going on, guys? So, it's me, Daphne. As you see, um, before we start the video, okay, whatever. Let's, so. So, today, I'm actually going to be showing you, I love art. So, I got my Fabric Crystal create, like, um, what's it called? Uh, color pencils. And today, I'm going to be showing you, if you guys are wondering why I have these stickers, my sister just put them on for me. Yeah, anyways. So, I'm going to show you how to shade in colors without using crayons and, like, oil pastels. So, I'm using regular things. It's actually really easy, but you cannot, basically, really important, this is a really important thing to do. You are not, you cannot, you just, this is just a must. You cannot add in different colors which they don't match with each other. For example, like yellow and pink, that doesn't match. And you have to start with the dark colors to the light colors. Or if you're, you know, if you want to go like, I don't know, something like to the sky, like not sky, because the sky starts from dark to the light. But if you want to start from light to the dark, that's obviously fine that's usually what i do and yeah i'm going to show you how to do it and if you want to get help from me and i'm only a kid as you see it's not going to be it's not even that hard and i sorry my throat is just itching yeah i will and by the way guys hashtag be stay safe and stay in your house and also, yeah, I'm, what are we waiting for? Let's just get started. I'm talking too much. So choose any colors you want. I have a bunch of colors here. Ooh, that's a lot. You can use any color you want. So I'm actually using... So for example, like these colors match each other. So go with like colors which match. Go with a blue tint. Go with a purple tint. So the colors I'm taking right now match each other perfectly. You can also use pink for these colors, though. Pink usually matches with everything. I'm not saying it's the best color. It's my favorite color. So you can take these types of colors. Sorry if I'm looking back. You can take these types of color, which really matches each other. It's like it's like a galaxy. So then you have to look at uh, which one is a dark color. So some of these are actually not that dark. So you have to go to the back of the page, to a single tip of it, and then single bit of a line there and then take another crown I'm taking another blue and put that down and then you see which one is dark and lighter in the camera it just says the exact same color but no it's not the same color anyways but this one is darker so then hopefully you guys can see okay so then you actually start in like that so you just basically go around doing the exact same thing, how long you want it to be, how short you want it to be. Just do it like that. So I'm going to do it in fast mode, so... I'm just going to do it in fast mode, so yeah. Yep. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is how it looks like for now, and then I'm getting a lighter shade than that, and then you can see which one is definitely lighter and darker from here. This one is definitely dark, like darker than the other one, and now I'm just going to do a fast motion, doing the same thing right under that, so in the camera I bet it's going to look the exact same color, but in real life, no. Anyways, fast motion time. I'm the one who's fast motion here. Okay, guys, I'm done. And how it looks like. There's a little tint of it, but again, this one is darker than this one. Yeah, now the, put the ones that you already used and then use the other one, this one. And the fast motion time. And actually, before I do fast motion, this is how it looks like. And just keep going. Bye.